Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Constantine the Third here, and today we're going to be talking all about how to land your Condemn stun more consistently. For a lot of people, it can feel very frustrating to use Condemn trying to stun people to walls and towers, often miscalibrating and often just sending them further away from where they started and giving up free kills. Fortunately, there's a very easy solution to this problem in understanding the math behind how you actually land Condemn. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into all the nitty-gritty details, here are some very simple, very easy rules of thumb for you to follow when going for a condemn. Number one, you want to be perpendicular with someone. What that means is that if the wall is a line, you and the enemy make a straight line hitting it at 90 degrees. More on what this looks like later. Number two, be as close as possible to the target. Remember, the farther away you are from someone, the harder it is to accurately land a Condemn. And number three, the smaller the angle you go for on the Condemn, the more consistently you'll land this. That may be kind of confusing to you, but fortunately, we've got Bob Ross tactics on our hands. Okay, so let's do a video demonstration and talk about all these rules that I was explaining to you guys earlier. So... Let's say that this little star right here is you. <clears throat> and you're trying to condemn uh, this shape right here. That's the enemy. We'll make it red to make it easy. Let's go over our rules and talk about the best way that we can condemn somebody. So number one, the first rule I told you guys was to be perpendicular with someone. So what does perpendicular mean? Well, perpendicular basically means that you make, uh, let me show you, a little T-shape like this. This is a perpendicular angle, right? So let's say that this line right here is the wall, and I'll uh, continue it over like this, boom. So that's the wall right there. So ideally, we would want roughly to be condemning someone like this. Why is that? The smaller the angle is, the farther away you can be from someone and still condemn them. Now, why is that? Well, if we go back over here to our perpendicular lines, there's a handy math formula that explains this called a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it's called the Pythagorean theorem. If you haven't heard of it before, just trust me on this. I won't go into details, but it's geometry. Essentially, what it means is that the length of these two sides on a triangle squared equals the long length of the hypotenuse. So this is true for right triangles, but the same thing applies for any triangles. That formula just isn't accurate. So this line right here that I have just made is longer than this line right here. So this line right here with the maximum range that you could condemn somebody for, and you tried to condemn them at this angle, they wouldn't hit it because, again, it is, farther, it is longer than this one, and they would be outside of max range. So that's the first rule. Number two, be as close to someone as possible. This is because the closer you are to someone, the greater angle you can, condemn, you can condemn them with. Again, same thing. If you are really close to someone, you can actually hit them at this angle because, again, you're closer to them, so you can hit them farther. And if you hit them at an angle, you are technically hitting them farther. And our number three rule is go for tiny angles. Again, the smaller the angle is that you hit somebody at, the farther they will go. The farther they go, the more likely they are to hit a wall and be stunned. Hey, the math is over. Thank frickin' God. Now we can move on to the fun part, talking about condemn flashing someone. Just watch this clip here. It makes a lot of sense. All right, so uh, this is how you condemn flash somebody. Sorry, I don't really have a better way of showing this. I just kind of have the clip on my hard drive. So yeah, we're going to go over it. So this guy tries to condemn me or whatever. Now, here's how it works, right? I'm going to be able to pin him from a wall sitting here. Now let's remember our rules. Rule number one, you want to be perpendicular to someone. Rule number two, you want to be as close as possible to them and the wall. And rule number three, you want to have a very small angle. So, looking at my mouse right here, where I want to flash is in a position where I am perpendicular to this person and the wall, as close as possible to them and as little of an angle as possible. So I want to hit my E and then I need to think, okay, where can I flash to where that would be the case? Well right in front of them, right here. So I want to walk a little bit forward and flash right next to them like this, and that'll send them right into the wall. Just like that. So um, if you look right here, see how I'm... I'll let it uh, fade out a little bit. 
See how I'm loading up my crossbow right here? And then I'm going to flash right here and that'll send them right into a wall. I've created the 90 degree angle. I'm perpendicular to them. It's a straight line and I'm very close to them. Just like that. That's all you have to do when you're ever you're condemned flashing somebody. Just think about how you can hit them 90 degrees at a perpendicular angle, as close to a wall as possible. Just set that up on your mind and just practice, practice, practice. The more often you try out condemn flashing someone, the more accurate you will be. You'll fuck it up a lot when you first start doing it, but the best way to learn is just always condemn flash someone. Even if it's totally unnecessary, just do it anyway. If you've got a surefire kill, just condemn flash them. Because the important thing about improving in League of Legends is not winning. Yes, it would be more consistent just to condemn them normally, but you want to practice this animation cancel so you can do it when you need to do it. Anyway, guys, that'll be all for today's video. I hope you learned something. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take it easy, and have a good one. Also, I take requests. If you have anything else you want me to go over, talk about, make a video about, leave it in the comments. I'll put it on a little notepad file, and when I get around to it, I'll make a video about it. I promise. See you guys later.